Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for the week of November 23rd. This week, we start off with the Eight of Diamonds, which is a very good card, all about work. Scorpio, you know, I've been saying for months has pretty much been focused on work, all about work, having to work, and all this. But the Eight of Diamonds is actually a reward, and it's a reward for working. It can even be a new job, new travel, travel involving business. Uh, new jobs definitely on the table for a lot of you. You have a couple other cards that represent that, but this card directly rewards hard work. I always say when eights come up, work as hard as you possibly can during this week because it will pay off tenfold with the eight of diamonds. The eight of diamonds directly rewards hard work. It's all about working as hard as you possibly can with this card because, again, that will lead to a lot of success. And also in other areas, not just in finance. If you're looking for love, work as hard as you possibly can to find somebody, to meet somebody. If you're looking for more spirituality, work as hard as you possibly can to expand your spirituality. Work, work, work with this card. Uh, but, you know, you'll see a lot of benefits in the future with that. Next, you have the Jack of Spades, which I feel like a lot of you actually could have somebody coming in who's interested in you. It would be a you know an admirer. Jacks can typically be admirers. Jack of Spades, uh, you know I, I don't attach sex to my cards either, so it doesn't matter, male or female. You would probably know who this person is. Uh, usually, if you have an admirer like this, you know they stand out. They make it obvious, and uh, you would again you would know. They would probably be a little bit immature. Jacks can be a little bit immature, but they would be a lot of fun. They would make you even have fun. So if you're not having fun in life for whatever reason. You know, you might want to hang out with this person and see what happens. And next you have uh, the Three of Hearts, which is just the emotional happiness card. It's all about emotional happiness, feeling happy. So again, going out with somebody, having fun this week could really benefit you a lot. So I would encourage that, of course. But this is, again, just the emotional happiness card. There, there's really not a lot to say about the card because that, that's all it really means is emotional happiness. It is, a, you know, if we, if we dug a little bit deeper and dug into the threes, you know, they're all about creativity and using our creativity. They reward creativity. So, if again, if you're looking for love, get creative. Uh, go out. Try to try to meet people, whatever. If you're trying to get a job, get creative. Do things that are, you know, other than just submitting resumes and submitting applications. Do extra stuff with this card, especially with the Eight of Diamonds. Again, Eight of Diamonds, not going to lie, requires work. But if you don't have a job and you want one, get out there and work as hard as you possibly can. Do everything you possibly can to get a job. And I mean everything, because if you don't, you're not going to get it. But if you do, the job will come easily. Um, but yeah, a lot of good stuff with this card, just emotional happiness. And finally, you have the Four Hearts, which is a great card. represents getting a new job, new job, new business. It can represent travel, represent moving. It represents a lot of good stuff all around the home, all involving the home as well. Uh, more money coming into the home because of a new job, because of a new position. So you have a lot of positivity to look forward to with this card. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.